Honestly, if you thought this was a perfect setting for the ending of the show, all I can say is, picture abhi baki hai. Well, there's a massive event that's taking place this week. In fact, you can catch it this weekend at Pragati Maidan in New Delhi. It happens to be the India Mobile Congress. Now, whilst I watch more sunsets than Netflix, but technically I like watching Netflix more than sunset, but that's a story for another day. What you can tune into is a very special story rounding up the biggest, the flagship tech event here in India, the India Mobile Congress, a Tech Today special report. After 5G, India aims to lead the world in 6G. That was the message of the Prime Minister as he inaugurated the India Mobile Congress held at the Bharat Mandapam in New Delhi. The focus was not just on digital India, but also connectivity. Technology में तेजी से होते परिवर्तन के कारण हम कहते हैं the future is here and now. अभी कुछ मिनट पहले मैंने यहाँ एग्जीबिशन में लगे कुछ टॉल्स देखे इस एग्जीबिशन में मैंने उसी फ्यूचर की झलक देखी चाहे टेलीकॉम हो टेक्नोलॉजी हो या फिर कनेक्टिविटी चाहे सिक्स जी हो ए हो साइबर सिक्योरिटी हो सेमीकंडक्टर्स हो ड्रोन या स्पेस सेक्टर हो डीप सी हो ग्रीन टेक हो या फिर दूसरे सेक्टर्स आने वाला समय बिल्कुल ही अलग होने जा रहा है वेरी रैपिड प्रोग्रेस इज गोइंग ऑन इन दैट सेक्टर Close to 36,000 crore rupees have been sanctioned for the for connecting the last every village in the country. The Prime Minister also awarded 105G use case labs in educational institutions across India. The initiative focuses on developing 5G apps tailored to India's unique requirements and global demands. The Prime Minister also interacted with top telecom tycoons at the event. The Prime Minister was given a demo by Reliance Cyan Akash Ambani of Geospace Fiber Innovation. It is India's first satellite-based gigafiber service capable of delivering internet speeds of up to 1 Gbps and will transform high-speed broadband services in previously inaccessible areas of India. India today ranks amongst the top 3 5G enabled nations with over 125 million 5G users. We recently launched Jio Bharat, a revolutionary smartphone, 4G smartphone, costing just 999 rupees, lower than most 2G phones. With such bold initiatives, Jio is set to end the digital exclusion in India once and for all. Airtel also announced its equal investment in setting up 5G stations and networks across the country. Growth in local manufacturing, global recognition in India's digital infrastructure, Airtel's 5G expansion. and pm modi's influence on digital technology was the big focus ye digital public infrastructure jo hai isko india se lift karke hum apni countries mein kaise shift kare country after country whether it is world bank united nations wto africa union european union g20 oecd countries brics ek hi nara lag raha hai har jagah digital infrastructure that india has built can accelerate the world economy especially in those countries which have lack of infrastructure over 1 lakh participants from about 22 countries are taking part in the indian mobile congress including approximately 5000 ceo level delegates 230 exhibitors 400 startups and other stakeholders we will continue to track the developments from the event stay tuned <laughs>